motherhood changes things and it changes things for the better uh, for me personally it changed things for the better I feel truly blessed to be able to have this experience and to watch this little human being evolve into this amazing vibrant energetic person but it requires time it requires an embracing of those changes and it requires a willingness to change and adapt so because i've been running my business for such a long time some would argue that i've you know i can run and manage my own life but you've got to remember that i've, I've got my client base that you know i still want to make money and the world we live in a capitalist world the world doesn't stop because i've stopped to have a baby <laughs> i wish it would i wish it bloody would um so i've had to make sure that I've set in place a structure to my life that enables me to create and design a life that will allow me to enjoy my daughter but it would also allow me to continue to thrive in my business because I still want to be wrong here I still want to I still have ambition I still want to enjoy life I still have goals but they're different the goals are not the same kind of goals that I had perhaps 10 years ago, right? Or even five years ago. And actually, even before I became pregnant, even before I had my daughter, it was the pandemic probably really shifted a lot of things in terms of boundary setting and understanding the flow of life. And that whilst it's important to achieve certain goals, you know, obviously make money so that we can survive in this capitalist society, it's more important to embrace life and experience life and stop and just enjoy the riches of life because life is bloody hard. Like life is really hard. Um, it's beautiful, but it's really hard. It's really challenging. Um, but I just so I decided, that, you know, for example, I cut back on my hours, and I I have a, I have a certain level of flexibility, so I can work around. So, you know, and work basically wherever I want to work, work around certain timelines, as long as I achieve certain timelines, I'm at that level of my business career that I can do that. But I also have to set in place, you know, that, for example, Fridays, I don't work. And I've, I've put that in place now that I'm not working on Friday, so I can fully enjoy a three day weekend with my family, which I love, and it's glorious, and it's amazing. Um, and I, might even try and extend it to a four-day weekend. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that. Um, I'm clearing my communication now. So I have to be, you know, I've, I've always been clear in my communication, but I have to be very clear, to the point, transparent, because the clearer I am with my, in my communication, the easier things flow, so I can move on to the next thing when it comes to work and when it comes to business. I'm also giving myself the space and time to listen to my body listen to and understand my body, my spirit, my mind, so that when something feels out of sync, as it as it as it has been doing as a new mother, but also even before that, again, I kind of go back to this kind of the lockdown stage, the, the pandemic, when things were just thrown off balance slightly and we had to slow down, which actually I quite enjoyed. Um, but as a mother, when things, your whole body changes, my whole body changed and everything changed, I listen to myself now. I slow down. I have real conversations with myself and with the people I love. Um, and I'm honest. And I'm actually, going back to that communication piece, I'm actually honest as much as possible with clients. Uh, I, try not, I try not to absorb too much stress. And... By so in so doing, it enables me to. <sighs> I mean, I'm breathing. You hear that breath? It enables me to have a have a peaceful flow of work, which means I can enjoy my work, my, the business of doing a lot more when I'm honest and transparent. Because you know, everybody's always said, you know, people celebrate. Oh, congratulations, new baby, amazing. Okay, so this deadline, that deadline. I don't know when you're going to be here. Can you come to this? 
stop and I say yes or what and why, no and why, maybe let me think about this, pause, come back to it and give a direct answer and be honest. And those are some of the ways in which my life has changed and I have changed and I have been, I've been able to adapt and change in my life as a new mother. And I would love to hear from any of you, whether you're on this parenthood journey or not, any significant life-changing element um, of your life so far that's made you just stop in your profession, in your business and made you change. Please do share how you've changed, what's happened, what you've done, your tips in the comment box below. Please, please, please do. Make sure you share, um, like, and thank you so much for watching. Tune into the next video. Take care.